everyone, and welcome back to the VET Network. I'm here today with Morgan to discuss a brand new product just for you. The flashcard is a new way to learn vocabulary where you never have to use another lame or boring flashcard again. That's right, Mari. The patent pending flashcard is an easy way to learn vocabulary in just four easy steps. <gasps> That's right, just four easy steps. <laughs> wow, Morgan. That sounds fantastic. Only four steps? I can't believe it. Tell us more. Well, how about instead of telling you more, I show you more. Let's head over to our live demonstration to show you just how easy and effective the flashcard really is. Let's say you're reading a book and you come across an unknown word, the word indelible. What should you do? Go to dictionary.com, of course, to find the definition. Type in the word indelible and very quickly you'll see the definition. First, you might want to hear what the word sounds like. Indelible. Then, you'll want to check out the definition. Indelible is an adjective for making marks that cannot be erased, removed, or the like. And dictionary.com also shows you the origins of this word, the time period it's from, and the related forms. It's always handy to know what other ways you can use your word. You can also find the contemporary examples of indelible in use. Now what should you do with this knowledge? Create a flashcard, of course, with our patent pending The Flashcard system. Type your word in the center of the flashcard, indelible. Then consider what should the definition be? Begin by marking down what form the word is taken. Indelible is an adjective. Then write the definition in your own words. In this case, we'll say indelible is something that will not fade. The next part of the process is to find a synonym. So simply go back to dictionary.com and go to its partner website, thesaurus.com. Thesaurus is a place where all the synonyms for words are found. So if you type in indelible, you'll see the synonyms and antonyms of the word. Now, what you're going to want to do is look for a word that you recognize. That way you can connect the new vocabulary word to your pre-existing vocabulary. Let's say memorable is the word that we recognize in this situation. Go back to your flashcard and type it in. This second step is vital to improving your understanding of the new vocabulary word. And it's also very similar to the third step, finding the antonym for the word. So let's go back to thesaurus.com. In the list of antonyms, we find several different words that mean the opposite of our vocabulary word. So if we pick another word that we recognize, like destructible, we create an additional connection to our vocabulary word in our minds. That's why the flashcard system is so effective. With your synonym and antonym handy, you'll be able to better remember the meaning of indelible. The fourth and final step of this process is to create an original sentence. I recommend you create a funny sentence, something that you'll remember. So in this case, we're going to say that this flashcard will leave an indelible mark on your vocab. The flashcard system, with its four easy steps, is designed to help you remember your vocabulary words in your everyday life by connecting it with what you already know. Now, though I've just shown you this with a computer demonstration, studies have shown that it's actually more effective to handwrite the flashcards because it engages your mind on a few different levels. If you're a kinesthetic learner or you learn with your hands, then handwriting the flashcards is a more effective way to for you to get the new vocabulary words into both your head and your hands. Sounds super. Mm -hmm. With this patent pending process, you'll not only learn the definition of your new vocabulary words, but be able to connect it to your pre-existing vocabulary and create your own original sentences. Once you've created your own stack of the flashcards, you'll be able to memorize and practice with them each night to learn your new vocabulary. Wow, Morgan, this is fantastic. Such an easy process to learn vocabulary, and I'll never have to look through another stack of boring flashcards again. 
Now, learning vocabulary is going to be so much more memorable. Or, should I say, indelible. Oh, good one. And I'm sure all of you want to start using the flashcard technique at home. So, for the low cost of just 10 minutes per night, you'll be able to start building your own stack of flashcards and be on your way to fluency in no time. Also, feel free to stop by the VET office at any point to get a personalized lesson in vocabulary or flashcard making. Thanks again for coming tonight, Morgan, and we hope to have you back on the VET Network soon.